<laughs> the cube straight up exploded. <laughs> Yo, this is a stack mat timer. It is a timer that is used for official cubing competitions. But you probably already know this because it has been the same for quite some time. But here's my question to you. Have you ever accidentally thrown your stack mat timer on the ground and it broke? No? Well, me neither, but in case you are planning to do so, we have now the Chi timer. It's basically just a copy paste of the original Stagmat timer. It's like that one meme that goes like, hey, can I copy your homework? Yeah, just change a few things so it doesn't look too obvious. Gotcha. The buttons are in the same place, the display is exactly the same, the logos, everything is basically the same. Here's what makes this timer special. And I'm reading this from Daily Puzzles because I cannot find anything on their website. Listen to this. Traditional timers, like the Stagmat timer, have their internal components separated, which makes them significantly more sus susceptible 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 to damage, while Chi, this one, has theirs welded directly onto the circuit board, which gives a significantly more reliable connection. In other words, if you're using this timer, you can do that and not have to worry that it breaks because it's still working. And, and that's basically what they did in the promotional video, just throwing it on the ground like from this height. But honestly, if I take my stagmat timer, I don't need to worry, it's still working. See? So yeah, this doesn't really show how durable the timer is. But oh boy, today we will give it a test. I will test how the timer deals with some real life cubing situations that are pretty rough. So will it break? Let's find out. Back to this angle. So situation one is you're using your timer, but every time you stop your timer, it is drifting towards the edge until you accidentally kick it off. That was a bit too hard, wasn't it? It was too easy. Still working fine. Like, I don't see any damage to it, but that was a soft test. The next one, however, is really good if you're a parent and you're trying to figure out which time you should get your kid. Let's imagine you have this kid with ADHD and he wants to stop the timer a bit aggressively, let's say. Let's see if the timer can deal with a kid that has ADHD. No. He doesn't want to start. <laughs> no. Like, it doesn't want to start timing anymore. Like, it, it shows the display, but normally if you place your hands here, it starts timing. It. I broke it. Unbreakable timer. It's breakable. <laughs> However, let's see how the traditional stagman timer performs under these tests like i wasn't planning to actually test the durability of my stagmat timer but i want to have a cool video so <laughs> let's continue the test with this timer so yeah second test with the original stagmat timer let's see how this one deals with kids who have adhd <laughs> Uh-oh, I damaged my wall. It works! <laughs> like, I painted my walls two weeks ago and I already damaged them. Maybe I should go to the other table before I damage this beautiful desk. Alright, situation three. We've probably all experienced this at some point. So we are about to get a really, really good time, but somehow you don't stop the timer well, so you have to do it a second time. Let's see how this one deals with that. It's fine. <laughs> oh, poor timer. You can see little holes in the table because of the little tips here. Oh gosh, that was hard. So it's pretty stop proof. 
the next test. So we're solving our cube and we want to stop the timer, but accidentally we hold the cube while stopping the timer. So we basically smash the cube onto the timer. It can happen. It has happened to me. Let's see how it deals with that. What have I done? The timer is working. I have to rewatch that one. <laughs> the cube straight up exploded. <laughs> so, alright, it has survived most common cubing accidents. Let's do some real tests now. Alright, the next test. So, here's the situation you're a professional boomerang thrower. Is that a thing? I don't know if it is, it probably is somewhere. You quickly want to grab your boomerang and accidentally grab the stack met timer. I mean, it kind of looks like a boomerang, so it could happen. You do your first throw. And it doesn't come back. And you realize, oops, that was my stack met timer. It still works. <laughs> this thing is so tough. I, I only have one more final test for it. And, and if it passes that one, then it is pretty much indestructible. The final test, and this is a real one. So you're ordering a cube and you use the cubicle.com. Very smart choice. But you forgot to use discount code QPAD. And when you realized you missed such a huge discount, you were so angry that you grabbed the first thing that you saw and that was really hard. It still works. <laughs> I never want to do that again. <laughs> This is like the only stagmet timer I have, so it couldn't break, but it didn't. Such a tough timer. Why would you want to have a cheat timer that is so durable when it breaks, <laughs> when you drop it? Alright, so the conclusion of this video. Buy yourself a stagmet timer. Now, if you're new to this channel, usually I don't break things. And I should have started this video by saying, don't throw your timers. It's not good. But it's too late now, I suppose. But yeah, if you want to see a video where I don't throw timers around and break stuff, check this video. And I guess I will see you in the next one. Ciao.